And this is a, I don't even know how to describe this. This is a performance art piece, I guess is maybe the easiest way in. Tell us about what we can expect. Um, first of all, I'm delighted to be here and to be part of this season at the Wallace. It's a great pleasure. Um, my piece is uh, inspired by the life and works of an uh, iconic modernist poetess and filmmaker of 1950s in Iran, Farooq Farrokhzad, who is one of the most influential contemporary women artists in Iran and died at the age of 32 in 1967. And although she wrote only five volumes of poetry and one haunting documentary that she won many prizes for, she's become one of the most recited and quoted poets in Iran, even we have such an amazing culture of poetry, ancient poetry, mystical poetry. The, what attracts me to Furu is that she was one of the most important modernists of, uh, of, of a language that's like thousands of years old, and there's a lot of prejudice against progress and uh, uh, modernization in deep old cultures. The most interesting thing about Furu Farosad, which was my point of uh, attraction to her work, was that she was fight. She was a progressive intellectual woman artist, and this is a very, for me, transcends into all the this scenario in every culture. It's a very, very difficult for women, uh, progressive ethnic artists, intellectuals, to to challenge the very rich classical traditional cultures from which they come from, and especially when they're beautiful and young. So. She did this, and my, my piece, which really is an opera and it's an installation, is composed with my uh, co-composer, Richard Horowitz, who's here tonight, and uh, based on her poetry and uh, a narrative layer of uh, storytelling about her life and how she got to be who she was in that era of uh, 1960s in Iran, which was a very fertile intellectual and uh, cultural time. And uh, it's a very multifaceted project, there are many layers. There's the visual layer, film layer, there's the theatrical layer, the stage production, and the musical composition, which is original. Richard Horowitz and I did it, and uh, it has a lot of different kinds of influences uh, from uh, contemporary classical music, new music, jazz, and a lot of uh, indigenous vocal techniques coming from the Middle East and also from other parts of the world that's sort of been a field of expertise and passion that I've had the study of indigenous vocal techniques from all over the world. I've heard her poetry described as being similar to the poetry of say a Sylvia Plath. Is that do you think that's accurate and could you describe a little bit about her poetry? Yes, I mean one can say that that's not a that's, that's close, but she also is a personality like Patti Smith, uh, like Frida Kahlo, like Simone de Beauvoir, a uh, deep humanist, uh, and, and uh, she was, of course, with everyone in that era, had, uh, they all had socialistic, communistic tendency in their work, but it really came from uh, wanting to help the society grow and educate. And, um, and so Sylvia Plath is actually, a, I mean, I also say that her poetry is close to Sylvia Plath, mm -hmm. it's a Sanchez poetry. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, February 1st through the 3rd. Um, the house is black. <laughs> 